Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will talk about Bootstrap. So I will tell you uh, how we can install Bootstrap, what is Bootstrap, how we can use and register Bootstrap, examples with uh, some components like button, alert, accordion, grid, and all. And uh, then I will provide you the answer of my previous video. And again, I will ask you one more question. You can attempt this question in a comment box if you want. And this is my Instagram account if you just want to join me on Insta. Now, let's jump on our first question. What is Bootstrap? So Bootstrap is basically a framework. Yes, this is a framework. This is not a library. You can Google it, right? If you have any doubt. All right. So this is a framework that can help you to make the responsive website with the better design, right? And it have the lots of component like uh, button, accordion, gazettes, list, tabs and all and uh, bootstrap browsers and uh, much more right so you can use these components to make a better style a better design of your website and how we can install it for that let's jump on our official documentation because uh, uh, in a bootstrap there is a lots of way to use you can uh, there is some recommended ways and some is not recommended way but always just go with the official website steps right even for the bootstrap in the other libraries also so you can see that this is a bootstrap current version which is uh, uh, 4.5 so now you can see that there is a two version a version 1.4.0 and bootstrap 4.5 because its core bootstrap library version is 4.5 but uh, react bootstrap version is 1.4 right and there is a previous version also if you just want to that one now whenever you just want to install it let's just click on a get started and you can just find this command right and now just uh, run this command on a terminal just simply put here npm install react bootstrap and bootstrap right there is a they, they both are the two different different npm packages even you can use a single at a time you can install single at a time or you can install a both of at a same time right then whenever you will just uh, scroll it down you will just find that how we can import the component i will just uh, tell you after uh, some moment but now you will find that there is a two way to use a style sheet one uh, with the directly including the library from our node modules and uh, second one is uh, you can just use a cdn link but i will recommend you to use a css like that way because uh, let's say your internet is not working that time this link is not going to work because all it we always use a online css right now let's see this is installed that's great now just uh, use this link inside your app.js but i will again recommend you inside the index.js because uh, uh, maybe you can just use some other components directly in the index.js right uh, i know which is not possible but sometime might be you just uh, including some other important things or you just want to skip the app.js so just use it inside the index right after that everything is fine our uh, application is ready to use uh, bootstrap now how we can use it so now just simply import some component like import something from react bootstrap and now let's import whatever you want to import let's say you just want to import the alerts alerts props and all let's say just go with the simple one button right and now let's simply use this button like this and uh, just click here just link just write some text here like click me and uh, now let's check out the style of it first of all uh, just refresh it for a moment this is fine right so now how we can uh, make uh, some events and all events that you can use on a button and that on a normal button you can use on the bootstrap button so like on click and now just simply make an alert on it alert hello and run it just let me refresh it once now you can see that this is working fine so now let's uh, just go to the uh, 
components there is a lots of component i just want to show you so let's say button so there is a lots of button variant here you can just see just uh, copy them from here and uh, let's say just uh, paste there right and now you can find the different different kind of buttons with the different variants right you can this all and uh, with a similar way you can use accordion passes whatever you want let's say just click on a batch like this right and uh, that time you can just uh, simply uh, oh that's very bad let me just finish this video quickly right and uh, just remove all these things and paste this uh, batch here whenever you will use any component you must have to import it from a react bootstrap library so just simply put here batch and now just uh, you can see that we got a new batch here right and uh, you can use a variant with it let's say i'm just going to use uh, all right these are the same variant uh, 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 right and uh, yeah this is a light variant we can use that one also for so that i can just show you the variant on all and you can see that this is a light color here right and with a similar way you can use a uh, cards and lots of things that you can use there are just you just need to copy and paste from here just import the card and uh, then you can just simply use it let me just show you one more example just uh, remove all these things uh, just let me paste it here and uh, now what you just need to one thing which is just import a card from here right and now again just come back here and you can see that we are using card all right image is not working because this image is not have in our project that's why right so that's all for this video all right now it's time of uh, previous question in last video i asked that uh, can we use uh, 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 modular css and a normal css in a single class name uh, property yes we can use there is a no issue even uh, on a single tag you can use a uh, modular css simple css inline css whatever you want right and uh, for that video i have a question that what is the alternative of bootstrap in react.js right uh, there is a really really famous library in uh, most of time uh, in, when we are using the real project we will use that library uh, and uh, because that library have the more feature uh, from the bootstrap and i will just make example of that video of that library in the upcoming video so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care